Glad to hear vault Tech actually took care of some of their people. You hear these rumors, right, about him just throwing folks to the wolves. Here's some rations and a fancy suit. Good luck. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now. Because around here, we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Allergies. Learned the hard way. I can't stand within ten feet of a strawberry. <laughs> Come on, man, that's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on Doomsday. Now you see, I drove security, and I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble, and then quiet, then a whole lot less quiet. And the truck was hit with this wind, and it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering the truck, bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. And then I unlocked the door and into the back, and then... Bang, I wake up, man, and it's crazy. Somehow, in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. All it cost me was my skin and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us schools. Not the most flattering name, but still beats being vaporized. I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. Can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also means I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head-to-toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are sane. Not sure how it happens, why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turn, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans! Ser seriously? Nothing? Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul makes bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm gonna help you, I want something in return. All right, listen, I got this plan. You're gonna help me get rich. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels, what I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. It's the only voice I got, so yeah. That's what you're gonna hear. Now you want them or not? You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken them out for a test drive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to chat about? Some other time then.
one tiny fist at a red pill. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is that the thing is on? Hello? <clears throat> Hello. This is Mort McCoy. And welcome to the first of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. Today we're talking about your camp. Now, former vault resident, or someone who killed a vault resident, let's start off with the basics. Placing your camp. When plunking down your camp, C-A-M-P, that's an acronym, for the first time, remember to... Crap. Where did that oh, Remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain, general defensibility and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. Construction! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment, <clears throat> details, damn, I had to get that one on. An eye for details are a must. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry, we'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. So long. Get your chance. Come on, Mort, what, what, what was that? <laughs> Hello, dedicated listeners. Welcome back to Headmaster Mort's edutapes. Today, in this second tape, we are talking construction. Now, the first step of construction is... Wait, what? Is that soda? Soda's red, right? Wait, well, <clears throat> electing. First, electing what you're going to build. Once you've made that election, it's just three easy questions to construction success. One, is the location I've selected going to work for an object of the size and shape I'm building? Two, have I read the schematics thoroughly? And three, do I have all the required materials too? Who the hell bled on my notes? Saul! If I find that was you, you're gonna bleed on... What, whatever. Just finish for it. Short on materials? Loot the local junkyard, mills, and warehouses for parts. Missing a critical schematic? Your local vendors might have just what you're looking for. And on that note, this has been Headmaster Mort's Edutapes, Edutapes. See you again soon. Solomon, so help me, this better be dead. Where are you hiding? Welcome back, lovely listeners, to Headmaster Mort's final tape in the camp series. Powering your camp. After listening to the second tape, you should already be well trained, enough to build a generator. If you haven't yet done so, I'll wait. I do, 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 ah. I do, 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 ah, screw it. All right, I, I'll assume you nailed it. Now, generators are the heart of your camp power system. Once your generator is built, all you need to do is connect it to the object that needs power with the wire. Though, be aware, your wire will need a clear, unobstructed path.
on a one tiny fist and a red belt. Oh, wait, oh, wait a second. They think it's on. It's, hello? <clears throat> hello. This is Mort McCoy. And welcome to the first of Headmaster Mort's Edutapes. Today we're talking about your camp. Now, former vault resident or someone who killed a vault resident, let's start off with the basics. Placing your camp. When plunking down your camp, C-A-M-P, that's an acronym, for the first time, remember to... Oh, crap. Where'd they know? Oh, here we go. Remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain, general defensibility, and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you've found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. Construction! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment, <clears throat> details, damn I have it. An eye for details are a must. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry. We'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. So long. Get your chops. Come on, Mort. What, what, what was that?